Hello, and welcome to page 43 of volume 2 of my graphic novel of comic strips titled Bound Earth. Uh, really appreciate you listening. Uh, welcome back. We're well into this. We're more than halfway. We're almost done with this volume, uh, which is due out in June, which is quickly coming up. I'm going to have to start converting files and getting them over to uh, Kindle Publishing for distribution on Amazon, and uh, we'll be well on our way. The, the first volume was received fairly well. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised. Uh, sold more than a few copies, and it has funded uh, all the supplies that I will need to finish out Volume 3 and get everything up and running. Uh, I'll actually be able to uh, purchase some, uh, maybe go to some conventions and purchase some, uh, some real copies so that uh, I can sell those there. So, good news on that front. Uh, currently, it is March 15th, 2020, uh, for historical references. Uh, there's apparently a coronavirus going across the world, and the U.S. government has decided that if you don't have to go out, you shouldn't go out. They've canceled schools, and they've closed down anything, at least in the state of Ohio, anything that uh, requires more than 100 people to be together at the same time. So that's where we're at in the world. But this is online, so this is free. Uh, you can check this out. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on Patreon. I'd really appreciate it if you watched it on Patreon. Because that means that you're contributing and helping out with the bills and so on and so forth. And you get access to free stuff. Uh, like downloadable content and scanned images of the other artwork that I create. And you get the full commentary a week earlier. So this page, uh, I don't know how I keep doing this, but it stays timely to the current times, even though I drew this page like almost a year ago. I had no idea any of this was coming. So this page has the angel coming back and it's basically like a sudden plot change. The angel comes back and out of nowhere changes the direction these robots' lives are going. Just out of the blue. No warning. Kind of like this virus. Did not plan this. No, I can't see the future. Don't ask. Uh, what the, I don't know what the winning lottery numbers are. If I knew that, I wouldn't be doing this. Well, maybe I would be doing this. But, I don't know the winning lottery numbers. Uh, you have the spider who has been exiled from his cave. He's now hiding out in the fence. The, the stone fence that they have around the uh, kids' play area. And he's hiding out, biding his time, waiting his turn to come back and take over ruling the cave like he used to. You have the angel coming out of nowhere. And the robots think that the angel is ruining a good thing because they finally settled in. They got themselves comfortable. And they think that comfort is what... They keep falling into the trap that comfort is what they should be looking for. When in reality, their job is to explore and discover. And much like our lives should be, I think. We're called upon to explore this planet, explore our lives, explore other people, and get to know them and understand them. And far too often, I think we find ourselves in a position where we seek comfort more than anything else. And I think that's a trap that we fall into, and it leads to a lack of understanding of the world and the people around us. And through the lack of understanding, a lack of caring, 
selfishness. And I think that you have to be really, really aware of yourself in order to not fall into that trap. We spend our lives trying to get the most years into a job so that we can move up the food chain. We spend our lives trying to accumulate wealth so that we don't have to work near as hard. We spend our lives you know, trying to find a shelter that um, hopefully one day we don't have to pay for <laughs> so much. Um, that we pay for and it's ours. In all that comfort, I think we lose our drive to explore and to see the world. And while a little bit of comfort is not a bad thing, being in your job long enough to earn a, a wage to be able to survive, um, finding a, a neighborhood where you know it feels like home, these these aren't necessarily bad things in and of themselves. However, too much comfort makes you soft, makes you forget your purpose. You lose, you lose that drive to do what to do what you were sent to do. That's my two cents on the matter. Um, if you have a different idea, share it in the comments. We'll talk about it. It's cool. We're allowed to have different opinions. That's okay as long as you don't put other people down for theirs. So it's about the seven minute mark. Uh, the music credits are down here below. Uh, it's all cool. Check it out. Some new music actually. If you're seeing this on YouTube, come check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Alan Dunlap. That's www.com. No, www.patreon.com slash Alan Dunlap. Uh, join us on there. There's uh, you get all the content a week earlier. Uh, there's downloadable um, scanned images of the pages. And with that comes the commentary that I've written out. Um, if you're seeing this on Patreon or anywhere else, uh, I'm on YouTube at youtube.com slash dreamofart, the number one. I'm also on Instagram and, of course, Twitter. And there's a Facebook page for my art stuff. So come check us out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Joe, for your continued support. And I will uh, talk to you next week. All right. Have fun. Be good. Be careful out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just logged on to Patreon for the first time this week and have realized that we have a new patron, uh, Amanda Thomas Elkins. Thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, I really appreciate your, your generous support, and we will do our best to keep you entertained. Thank you very, very much.